Champion Life TV. We are so glad that you tuned in today. There's a great message in store, so let's go straight to Pastor Eddie. When I was, when I was probably about 12 years old, my, my parents made the decision to give my sisters, my older sisters, some, some, some property, some land. And the intent of the land was so they could build, to put homes on these lands. And my sisters were like uh, 9 or 10, 11 years older than me. And so uh, I was about 12. They were, they were already married and starting to have children. And my parents wanted to give them a, you know, kind of a boost in life. And then so my dad says to me at that time, son, I remember, I'm young. He says to me, you know, someday when you get married, I'm like, uh, <laughs> someday when you get married, you can have a piece of land as well to put a house on. I'm like, a house? I want a bike. I, I, I want a new, I want a new gun. I, I, I want a 410 shotgun, and I want to go hunting. A girl? No, no, Dad, forget it. Keep the land. A few years later, after that, though, I was about 16 years old, and I went to a movie. And uh, can anybody guess? In the 1970s, a 16-year-old going to a movie, and this movie, he falls in love with. Anybody guess what it is? Smokey and the Bandit. That would have been me right there. I, I decide I want to get a Trans Am. I decide that that's my destiny. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna get. So I went to the car lot and I start trying to put together a deal with the guy at the car lot. Now I had one big problem. Anybody guess what the problem was? No money, but that didn't stop me from negotiating a deal. Why? Because I had a plan. If I have a plan, you're not gonna stop me really easy. I put together this plan. I go, I go to school and I tell the friends at school about the plan. But I didn't have any money. I want that car. I dreamt about that car. I had posters of that car in my bedroom. I mean, we're talking about the car. Secretly, Kenny wanted a Trans Am too. <laughs> Carl wanted a Trans Am. Duke wanted a Trans Am. Yeah. I don't even like you right now. Then one day, it hits me. I need to ask God for a Trans Am. That shows you how desperate a 16-year-old can get. So I pray and I say, God, let's cut a deal here. Let's make a deal. You want me, I want a Trans Am. I mean, it seemed like a great deal. And I tried and I tried and I tried to pitch this deal to God and no Trans Am. So now I'm rolling along, I'm rolling along, and you know what? That doesn't stop me just because I've got a plan, and that plan includes a Trans Am. So I'm, I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, and I tried prayer, that didn't work, so now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and then it hits me. I've got it. I go back to my dad, and I said, Dad, I need you to listen to my plan. He's like, okay, all right, let's, let's hear it. I said, this one's good. This one's a deal. I got this one sewed up. Do you remember the land that you gave to my sisters to put a house on? And he said, yeah, yep, yep. You gave that to him as a gift, right? And I said, yep. And he said, yep, yep. And you said you'd give me land. Yep, yep. I want my land. I want my land, and I'm going to sell it, and I'm going to get a Trans Am. <laughs> and I'm just like, And my dad looks back at me and he said, and he, and, he, and he grins and he smiles and he laughed a little bit like you this morning. And he said, but son, that's not the intention of the gift. And I said, yeah, but dad, key words, gift. When you give a gift, it's no longer yours. It's technically mine. And he said, son, I'm not about to let you take your inheritance and spend it on a Trans Am. 
And I, and I got to tell you, I tried some different kinds of techniques on my dad to massage the deal. You know what I mean? The silent treatment was one of them. I tried the silent treatment. I tried to cut a deal with my dad. I tried with God, didn't work. I tried my dad, didn't, didn't work. I tried all kinds of things. I tried rebellion. Why not? It's worked for other kids. I'll, t I'll try rebellion. No, no deal. My father went silent. My father messed up my plan. And in fact, you could say that my father ruined my life at the early age of 16 years old. So a couple of years roll by. About three years go by, and I meet Tammy Jo. A few years after that, three years after that, we were married. Three years after that, my son Daniel was born. Three years after that, my daughter Bethany was born. You know, we do a lot of threes in our family. About three years after that, we decided that the little farmhouse we were in, we needed a, a different farmhouse. And one day, it hits me. My dad gave me land for a house. Now, I want to show you how badly my dad messed up my plan. That's how he messed up my plan. Can you believe how awful that father of mine was? He messed up my plan. He said, son, you're going to buy a Trans Am that's going to turn into a bucket of bolts and rust. The intention of your inheritance was to have a piece of land to build a place, a home to put your family in. So I just want you to get your hearts and minds wrapped around how bad my father is. Bad dad. So what am I saying? I'm saying this. I'm saying some of us, we've got a plan. And we're putting together this plan for our life. And our Heavenly Father is saying, He's saying, no. The intention of the gift I've given you, the intention of this life I've given you is not to have that Trans Am. There's something much greater I want to give you, son, that you could really build a life around. But I, I couldn't see it. Why? Because I was so into my plan. And I, I think that's really kind of what happens in, in so many of our lives. We grind away at the plan. We grind away at the plan. And God's trying to get, his, get across to us his intention. And so many of us, we just cannot give, our, give the trust and turn it over to God. The reality was, my father had a plan. And my father's plan did not include a Trans Am. But it didn't include a house on a piece of property. He gave me the land. I had to build the house. But there was a wonderful partnership between a, a father and a son. And I believe that's the same type of partnership that God wants to create between our, him, our heavenly father, and us as his sons and daughters. But sometimes we never get there. Why? Because we force our way, like the prodigal that says, thank God I got past the silent treatment and the rebellion to say, okay, all right, I give up, forget the car. And there was a time, several years, where I even forgot about the land. And, and just to help connect the dots, we sold that house in 2004 to move here so that we could relocate our family and get a home here and start this church. So in essence, my father's plan that he refused to let me mess up his plan, the plan actually affected you sitting here today, whether you realize it or not. We want to invite you to join us at Champion Life Church at any one of our three Sunday services. First, we have our 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. services. We also have our later and louder service at 7 p.m. We are located at 72745 Highway 111. We are across from the Westfield Shopping Town behind McDonald's. We hope you come and see us soon. You can also find us on the web at www.championlifechurch.com.